Okay, hello everyone. This is Snow Orchid, and um, I wanted to actually create a video like this. Um, I have realized something when people has joined me in a game, they don't realize about the navigational system that appears on the top area of your screen, what you see right now. I noticed that the icons sometimes it doesn't show. Um, basically, things that you have finished it's highlighted in white and I'm gonna put a marker right on the area where I'm gonna use the transportation ability in a sh um, the Wayshire as you can see I like clearing up some locations on the map so in some way I don't have to um, battle against some of the cute animals in the area oh my god those like um a quest where they could be able to be passive and very friendly so I create that I just wanted just to show you that in this area here at Eridon this is um, the location where if you start up in the elvish location you actually start up in this ship what I like about this map is that it's very easy to recognize, very easy to be able to find a lot of memorable locations itself. And the navigation was a bit more easier to understand in an environment like this. So basically I'm going to show you where my character started off to begin with, with any character you create. You can actually read books, um, take items. It's it's not considered stolen. It's good to actually talk with the people that's around in the area. They're like the NPCs. This is where my character started off to begin with. Right in this location. And as you can see, you could take it if you want or not. Actually, I was very scared to take items at first but it's not considered a stolen item in here this is like your first bunker that you actually spawn in this location Aww. my pet is so cute as you can see it's very easy to actually see here Okay, in here, you could be able to go and see the marketplace. It has a small marketplace right over here. And this is where you can actually sell, well, actually to any merchant. But this was the first merchant, actually, I sold items to. And the type of stuff you can sell is, like, the items that's under trash. Like these two items here. File hide and elemental essence that I got from monsters. Oh, and every merchant can actually repair your items for a price. What I like about this location is that it's very intriguing. It's it's interesting the the way the architectural work in here is, and maybe that's why I don't feel like I get lost in this sector here is the blacksmithing and clothing location however what is important also is to know okay this is the crystal file vial and this basically is an enchanting and alchemy location you could buy these trinkets if you want or you can create it yourself if but you see my character is very low she won't be able to access the higher level um, glyphs to, 
to actually compress together and actually create um, jewelry. Here is the clothing shaders dye department, and you can actually you can actually shade unlock achievements in that to be able to um, decorate your armor the way the type of style that you wanted to actually achieve sooner or later with a lot of um, quests and stuff. Well, anyway, this here is the alchemy location, and uh, as you can see. All you gotta do is mix water and herbs and flowers, roots or uh, mushrooms together and it'll actually create actual potions. The better your character is skilled, the better you can be able to access higher level of potions and also jewelry for the enchantment. This here is the handy haversack. In the here you could be able to upgrade your own inventory system. However, they become very pricey as time goes on. Every time you buy, it could go to 2000 and 5000 and then it'll, it'll escalate. But it is very important to actually add that in. Another way you can actually add in extra storage space on your character in, character's inventory itself is if you go to the stables. Now the stables itself has different types of things you have to buy and it'll upgrade each ability that will add to your character's um, status, stamina, inventory. But the first thing I like to upgrade Date is actually the capacity. If you update that, you'll add extra slots in your inventory system. But that means you have to do it manually, um, go to the stables, and access carrier, like carrying capacity. You could go up to 60, and um, if you finish that, then you have a lot more basically on your belt. So bas that is, is very important to do every day. Thank you so much for a friend telling me to upgrade your saddle um, capacity but meaning your main inventory. Now the other type of inventory that comes in handy is basically the vault space. This is where the bank is basically going to be your savior. However your bank just like your main inventory it does have a fee to update your gear and it's quite pricey to update the vault system. Now the vault system is shared with every character you create with your account. All this is shared and this is what makes me come back to the bank a lot because I always manage what I can put in deposit and even withdraw. As you can see, <laughs> I'm showing you what I have in my bank vault. Basically items that I've broken down into pieces and I can use it for crafting in clothing or blacksmithing and woodworking. It's a lot of items, but scraps of hide or... And what I love about this bank is that, oh, fireplace, good for actually, if you buy, if you get um, ingredients, you can actually put them together and actually start cooking your own food. We'll get to that sooner or later in one of the other videos. But look at all the recipes I allow my character to um, absorb. Uh, my other characters already is accessing the blue items already. It's good to actually increase the experience of provisioning itself to make better food, better things actually it's much more potent. Okay, I basically giving you a look in this location. I hope that you will enjoy yourselves. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.